Now Joe Mixon. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Damian Wilson in on the stop. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Boyd. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack. For... And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Trevor Lawrence in the Jacksonville offense, ready to go back to work. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience.
experience the first few quarters. Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And guys, you look up at the scoreboard, uh, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Play action. It's Burrow. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. He's at the 40, the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Bailey got the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here comes Darius Phillips out of the end zone. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And their fan base at this point has to be thinking, is this finally the year, the year we once again taste success in the playoffs? They're not there yet, but it's looking promising here in this fourth quarter. He finds his man complete. That's Boyd. Tyler Boyd, he's going to go. And he takes it in for the score. He's finally.